Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Inisat Recall 2024 Part 2. Let's get started. The first question was, what is the pressure on examination when the patient has partial broken skin? So the question was about bed sores. The patient presented with partial broken skin which is shown in this picture here. It is nothing but stage 2. I am assuming that the question asked was about this. I think the answer should be stage 2 here. And coming to investigation of choice for best disease. This is something which is related to ophthalmology question. There are so many questions in ophthalmology in INSET exam. So here you can see an electrooculography which is given in best disease. We know that light versus dark ratio is 1.33 which is increased in best disease. The characteristic fundus examination of best disease shows this egg yolk appearance in fundus by which we can diagnose the best disease. So I don't know what the question was asked but I think if it is about diagnosis then this should suffice. Coming to topical antifungal which is used for onychomycosis. Here are some of the options that we can have for onychomycosis. You have to mark according to this. Elfinaconazole 10% topical solution, Tavaborol 5% topical solution and Cyclepirox 8% which is available as nail paint. So what are the causes of neonatal cholestasis? There are multiple causes intrahepatic and extrahepatic. There are other causes too like some viral diseases like hepatitis, any biliary atresia uh, and metabolic diseases all can cause neonatal cholestasis you have to mark depending on the options coming to contraindications of these are obg gyne questions one is contraindication instrumental delivery so we have maternal contraindications we have fetal contraindications so whenever the baby is having bleeding disorders you can't keep a forceps in there so that the patient the baby may bleed so bleeding disorders and predisposition to fractures if the baby have some condition which may lead to uh, fractures of the baby and face how can we put a forceps in the face presentation and if the baby is having gestational age less than 34 weeks then also it is contraindicated and maternal indications it is cpd in cpd and incompletely dilated cervix also you should not use instruments in the delivery Coming to contraindications of delayed clamping, first of all we need to understand why we do delayed clamping and not early clamping because usually delayed cord clamping will allow blood to go into the baby so that there will be high early hemoglobin concentration in the baby and that can maintain iron reserves up to 6 months after the birth the question asked to us what are the contraindications of late clamping abruptio placenta multiple gestations isoimmunization severe fetal bradycardias or fetal anomalies all these can uh, you know all these are contraindications of late clamping and where we do early cord clamping was the same causes which we have discussed right now okay rh incompatibility premature delivery infections because they are not eligible for late clamping they have to be done early cord clamping so what is the reason of a post gastrectomy patient complaining of lower limb numbness due to b12 deficiency basically why b12 deficiency happens was in stomach there is this place where intrinsic factor gets released and this intrinsic factor should go to you know that iron fist bro right where b12 is absorbed in the ileum so intrinsic factor has to uh, you know help in this process of, of vitamin b12 absorption that is the reason why in gastrectomy patients where the stomach is removed the intrinsic factor is not there so the patient's b12 absorption is hampered and the next question was 
यूरेट्रिक कोलिक बेस्ट इमेजिंग टू डायग्नोज सो यूजली दिस इमेज विच आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड हियर और शोन हियर इज एन एन सी सी टी के यू बी यू कैन सी वेरी क्लियरली ए स्टोन विच इज प्रजेंट इन दू नो किडनी दिस इज एन इमेज ऑफ एन सी सी टी सो यू कैन सी द स्टोन विच इज वेरी वेल अप्रिशिएटेड इन दिस पिक्चर सो द बेस्ट इमेजिंग टू डायग्नोज यूरेट्रिक कोलिक इज एन सी सी टी के यू बी एंड वी हैव ट्रू एंड लव विद क्लासिफिकेशन इज सीन इन इट इज वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट सो ट्रू एंड लव विद क्लासिफिकेशन इज सीन इन बेसिकली द टेबल विच आई हैव शोन हियर इज द ट्रू एंड लव विद क्लासिफिकेशन इट इज सीन इन अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस गाइज सो मॉन्ट्रियल एंड अल्सरेटिव मॉन्ट्रियल क्लासिफिकेशन एंड ट्रू एंड लव विद क्लासिफिकेशन टू क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर देयर एंड ट्रू एंड लव विद क्लासिफिकेशन इज फॉर अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस वेर यू हैव सिम्टम्स डिस्क्राइब्ड and based on that you can you know divide the patient into mild or severe it has several components like blood in stool fever tachycardia anemia esr and diarrhea you can see the criteria if you want and finally this was something which is very new to all of us at least for me so what is the angle during the laparoscopy working port and the telescope so this is the working port and this is the telescope we are seeing through it and we are working through this so the angle between these two ports is known as azimuth angle which is usually 60 degrees and manipulation angle is something which is present according to this diagram is that which is present between two working ports and also elevation angle is something which is present along the target surface that we are working on and the working port so surface versus working port is elevation angle telescope and working port is azimuth angle and two working ports is manipulation angle i think i am clear so far i am hoping that this will help you please let me know it in the comment section it helped you in any way so thank you so much i will meet you in part 3 of initiatory call bye guys